Hello, 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 and welcome back, everybody, to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play series. I did some little tweaks uh, in between the episodes. I moved the board, which still has auto farming on it, and cleared the temple, which I haven't worked on in between episodes, but I did work on this. I actually ended up... You can notice what I did. I widened this, which is why those torches are out of place. Um, I widened this by one for a couple reasons. Uh, so I've also done a couple other things. Uh, what do we talk about first? What do we talk about first? Right, so this has the zombie in it. So there's the soul sand on this level, water on this level, and then the zombie is in the water because now, as you can hear, Unfortunately, very loud. Let's just, um, maybe, maybe, maybe that, and then maybe like that. Sure. Um, what we've done is we've then surrounded him in um, half slabs, which gives them just enough time to jump in bed every so often and then jump back out. That you can see, you can see them all doing it. That guy did it there. That guy did it there. These two can. There you go, he did it, and I think he did it at the same time. So it allows this to operate overnight. Because I was finding a lot of inefficiencies with the fact that this wasn't running... Oh no. Uh, the fact that this wasn't running at night was a little bit annoying. Because, like, that's half the day not being used. So then, I had another issue where they would get to about here, and they would just stop. Which was getting a little bit annoying. Which is why now there's the I think these are half slabs all here and it glides down a little bit more because I thought maybe it was a water issue and they were getting stuck somewhere so I kept like fiddling and redoing the water and redoing it I think what it is though is because their box is so big that actually what they were happening is they were clipping on this corner here and they were just stopping and then when they stop here they just stop for ages and they don't move they don't Ooh. They don't walk around at all, and if they don't walk around at all, another doesn't spawn. So it was really lowering my spawn rates again. So I had to basically um, fix this just by widening it by one. So if you are imitating this, look again, look, another one, and they just glide right down. It's perfect. So I've been I've been sat AFKing a little bit just to sort of see what it was, um, how the rates were. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't need obscene rates, but we've got all of this so far. Which is great, and this isn't all we've got actually, because one thing I did is I went and actually traded with the guys over there. Uh, I made another toolsmith and I traded with them, so I now have a backup efficiency 4 unbreaking 3 pick, and then an efficiency 3 unbreaking 2 pick. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's sort of getting there. And Hello. Look at me. Never mind. Just die. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty quick. It runs pretty well in the background. So I'm quite happy with it. Um, this was a main thing that I needed to do. And I worked out myself, to be fair. I lowered it by one initially. Wasn't working that great. Lowered it by another. Still wasn't working. And then I went to bed thinking, I was like, I can't think of how to do this. And I woke up and I thought, what if I half slabbed it? I was going to put half slabs under the beds, but I didn't realise you can't do that. Um, but I half slabbed it and it works so that they just get enough vision But enough of it's like when he's down he's disappears enough that they can quickly jump in bed Which is good. And then today I started working on this Which is the start of our automated melon and pumpkin farm. So what it is is it's a 9x9 nine nine, uh, With rails going all the way around it Then we've got these rails in the middle, uh, with just a row of redstone blocks underneath. And then, see another one's going, perfect. And it's basically this, so then what we need to do from here is this is where it gets a bit painstaking. But we're going to need blocks and we're going to need all of the pistons. Because uh, I wanted to get this automated so that we can have, um, so that we can have more trades basically. And then basically we have to just do this now for the rest of our lives. Uh, block and then block and then block. Is that another drowned boy? Hello? 
Oh, there you are. I want your Nautilus shells and I want your tridents. Wherever you guys are. I'll find you. Trident boy! We go! We ride, people! Dodged it. Look at us go. Dodge it. He's got a Nautilus shell as well. <gasps> He's so lucky. He's got everything we want. Oh, didn't dodge that one. Dodged it. Not that one. Did he... What did he drop? Did he... Is this a drop? No. He did drop a Nautilus shell. But it's not what we're after, really. Because we need the Nautilus shells to be able to make that bloody underwater beacon so that we can at least live a bit easier around here. But for now, we're, we're collecting them slowly. Very slowly. But we have all the ingredients, I think, other than the Nautilus shells, so it's pretty chill. We need to just go hunting at one point for, I think, a trident. I don't think it's going to work just like being a person that wants one. <laughs> I think I've actually got to try a little bit. What we can do is we can speed ourselves up. Now that we've got one row in, we can speed up a little bit. There we go. Look at this. Redstone genius here. Uh, yep. Shit. There's a lot of, um, lot of pistons, though. It's probably the most I've crafted in a long time. I don't do a lot of redstone. Um... Just kind of how how I, I be. It's it's one of those where like, I kind of enjoy it, I kind of don't. Um, like these sorts of projects and like that was that was not too bad. And it's like, it's not like that's going to be the most difficult thing in the world. Because, I mean, it's, it is just like, the, especially the one behind, that's just a spawner. Like, I do spawners all the time. Spawners are one of those where like you kind of... If you're going to play Minecraft and you want to get the world going really easily, you kind of do need some sort of spawner involved. Because the resources you can get, even if you do like a skelly spawner or something, you just need the resources. Like, it's desperate times. But this should get us lots of, um, lots of melons and pumpkins. Because I think we would do it like 50-50, um, I think is the plan. Uh, so then what we need to do is I think we need to pill it up here and Give me a second Because <laughs> I've kind of forgotten and I don't actually know how to do this as well as I know how to do that Okay, I know what I'm doing. We've got to remove all these blocks Get these all out of the way uh, but this will this will do us good. We'll get lots in, and it's automated. Like there's plenty of times with like these sorts of crops where I just leave them grown because I mean, come on, uh, I'm not not every time gonna take the ten seconds out of my way to harvest a load of melons and pumpkins. Whereas this just chucks it all in a chest, and then when I'm ready to go and sell it, I can just literally go and speed dump it all out, which is a bit easier for me than. Oh, I missed a step. <laughs> Wait a second. But actually, this is beneficial because I wanted to get these blocks somehow. I watched the tutorial. And I was like, he's wasting. He's being a wasteful man. Uh, we need the dirt. I actually had to specifically go out of my way to get dirt as well. I don't. Um, I don't mine it enough. Which, when living on an island, is not. It's problematic because you're expected to have dirt in this game. It is a useful block. And without it, farming and everything is very difficult. <laughs> as you can hear in the background, though, the iron farm just chugging away. That's why I'm putting this here as well. It's just going to be next to the iron farm. It'll run itself uh, alongside that when I'm around. Um, and we'll get multiple drops of thick both things that we can sell as well. Bear in mind, we can sell both the iron and the... Um, the iron and the... What do you call it? Um, yes, words, right? You can sell the iron and you can sell the pumpkins and melons. There we go. Sort of lost my brain a little bit there. Don't worry, though. It's all good. 
Uh, so then we come up here, and we go into the middle here. This is why this stair is here, and you waterlog the stair. So now we can come through, and we can hoe all of this land, and it'll get hydrated. And then we can plant the seeds that we want. Did I pick up the seeds? I did pick up the seeds. <laughs> That's like shit. Uh, you can plant the seeds that you want without them dying, which I thought was super cool. I didn't realize uh, why we were putting a stair in the middle at the start, and I imagine a lot of you guys didn't either. Although you may have done, actually. Half of you know exactly what you're doing in this game, unlike me. But I persevere because I have to make the content so that I can become the YouTuber and be a cool boy. I've been thinking more and more about picking up streaming again. I'm uh, trying to decide on days that I think people would be really keen to watch me. Uh, so if you do think of any days that are, like, are good, like, I know Saturday and Sunday are, like, good days, but then is Sunday a good day, for example? Like, do people watch streams on Sunday? Do people want to watch streams on Sunday? It's a whole thing, right? So I'm just trying to make sure that I, I don't want to waste my time with the streaming. It's a lot of time to put into something. And I want to be sure that if I am going to put my time into it, you guys, you lovely people are going to watch and enjoy it. So just let me know what you're thinking about sort of like uh, when it comes to my streams. If you think, Do you know what, Sunday's not a great day. Because in the end, I, I, I don't want to stream alone. I'd rather stream with people. So if you guys are like, oh, I'm probably not going to be available Sundays, let me know, and we'll uh, we'll adjust accordingly. Because I'd much rather stream with wonderful people watching than just stream to my lonely self, if that makes any sense. Because streaming is one of those where, like, without people in chat, it can become very dead very quick. Like, you need that engagement. Without it, it's a very sad boy time. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just trying to make sure that I plant it evenly because I want to get a good split of melons and pumpkins. I think that's everything. And do you know what we can do? Because we have access to a lot of bone meal. We can actually just quickly bone meal this up because pff, why not? Uh, and then we've got to place those observers down. Let's just take 16 which they're nine each, so that's quite a lot of bone meal. Uh, we need the redstone as well. There we go. And let's dirt pillar back up. And then we've got to tidy this up, basically. But for now, look at that growth. Oh, wait. Do we want to be doing this? Is this going to be problematic? Because if they start growing and I put the observers down, are we going to have issues? Mm, I don't know. I thought this was a big brain move, but now it feels small brain. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, I guess, whether this was big brain or not. For now, it feels big brain, and that's all that matters, right? The feeling of big brain, not the actual act of big brain. Just the, hey, look at me guys, I'm smart. Right? That's what everyone wants, the feeling of smart. Uh, I thought though, I wanted to bone mill them because I want to get the crops in quickly. I don't want to wait for ages. But now I feel like farmers are normally patient people. And I would not make a good farmer. <laughs> Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb over here. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see what, what we make of this. As long as I bone mill the majority of them, I don't need to 100% this, which I think I'm doing though, so let's keep that in mind, I guess. Oh, I brought probably the right amount of bone meal though. If I had just bought a stack, we would not have made it far through this. Okay, right, so then next step is to take the observers and put the observers facing down. And they've got to point at all of the plants. Yeah, this is going to be a bad decision because now it's not going to trigger 
because because <laughs> they're not going to change states because the observers measure oh fuck shit um oh fuck ah oh, balls give me that okay this is it's fallen apart wait do that and then we do this and this and then we get our spoon and we just do that and then we will come back to placing that block there we go I don't even know how I placed it there that was quite an extraordinary click there we go okay so now we can just like we can come over here and then we can do here and then here and then here and then it's not even like anything happened there we go this was a expensive project though so we do need it to pay out a little bit because otherwise i'm gonna feel pretty dumb like a lot of pistons i mean we've got the iron farm now fuck i did it again except this time it's more difficult um shit fine we just have to do this wait no no this and then this and then this and this would have been a pum kin I think I don't know that's fine so I know how I did it now. It's if I hit the side of it. I've got to hit the top right in the center. Or else we're going to have issues like that arising. There we go. As I was saying, yeah, it's not too bad now that we've got the iron farm. Because, I mean, what? The main expense from a piston is the iron, isn't it? Like, that's a lot. But when you've got an iron farm generating you iron as you build this. I've probably made that iron back easily now. Um, so now what we've got to do is we've got to go around and we've got to put blocks on top of each one of these. This is what I saw. Because I think this then basically carries the redstone pulse into, because you'll see what I'm going to do next. This is where it becomes major brain. Then we go bam, bam, and then Bam, 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 bam. Look at us go. Redstone genius over here. I've never felt so smart before. Christ. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what? Does this not need... Oh, this doesn't need one, does it? Okay, that's... So that's all of them now with... With things. And then we've got to take our... Cooper minecart. And put it here. And then give it a push. Give it a push. Ah! Oh, we haven't slept in a long time. It's night. And the spooky boys have come out to say hello. Goodbye, spooky boys. Prepare to burn in the sunlight. They're like vampires, aren't they? Come out at night, try and ruin your day, and then burn when the sun comes out. Um, they are still after me, though. How do I... How do I push this? Wait. Let's, um... Let's do this. Just real quick. Because we're going to need to fix a problem we've made anyway. Uh, let's just then go boop boop. And then... Uh, push this along for a second. We get it to that first corner. There we go. Get out of its way. Shit, we did that. Okay, get out of its way. We've not got long to get out. Okay, here we go. Right. 
So now that's going around, and that'll start collecting them. What we now need to do is we need to um, we need to get in here, I think, to be able to solve the minor situation we created of, hey, there's um, blocks that have not been broken. So let's just then place this, and let's go in and fix this. <gasps> Scary. Hello? Why aren't you going back up? What if I break this? Oh no. Um, this wasn't a solution. This was a problem. Okay. So we're actually going to have to go through and do this. Oh no. do this and fix these ones that I have invertedly broken because it looks like it's actually clearing itself out so if I had just left it like a good boy this wouldn't be an issue but instead what did I try and do I tried to fix the problem and now it's a broken but don't worry Redstone genius here, fixing it like it never was broken. Uh, not all of them are ready yet. This one, for example, locked up. Uh, shit. There we go, and then this one as well. Bit broken, don't worry. There we go, that looks, looks alright. That was good. This. Okay. Okay. That looks good. So if we get out now. And then we go up. We've got to replace some redstone. Uh, one here, one here. One here. One there. One there, one there, one there, there, there. I think that should be all of the redstone in now. Yeah, okay. So then what we've got to do, this is the easy part. We've just got to now give it a casing. So we're going to put glass around the edge here, because I made a load of glass for it, specifically for this. So it's happening, because I specifically did something. There we go, break all of this down, there we go, looking beautiful. Oh, we're going to run out of, we're going to run out of blocks. Okay, well, we can do one side, <laughs> kind of, not really, um, but now if we come over here, right, and we look in this, look at this, look who's the genius now, it's me, I'm the bloody genius. Um, but we do need to of course put this glass in so that drops stop going off of the edge do you know what would be probably do you know what's the quicker way to get smooth stone right now it is just to go straight down and do some mining What's there's my silk touch one uh, we need to eat but it's looking good we've got that working now alongside with that Man, our drop rates massively increased. We're basically getting plenty of new stuff all the time. Right? That's how words work. <laughs> Look at us, though. We're like we're actually making progress. I feel like there was definitely a long period of time where we uh, we didn't, but now oh, we're not going to go that way. This way is way easier to like mine stuff, as you can see based on the fact that this is the direction I'm mining in right now. Um, we just need to get like maybe like a stack or two of smooth stone. So let's just like 
and then so then we can at least quickly get a stack or two here and then once we've got that we'll be able to make our blocks that we need and cover up that uh, monstrosity out there and it'll look good yes so big brained such a non smooth brain idea I'm a giant giant I'm such an idiot. A giant brain is what I was going to say. But the word I meant was giant. Because <laughs> I'm absolutely beyond belief not a giant brain person. I can't even say the word giant. I'm a giant brain, guys. I'm a goddamn giant brain. Talking of uh, nothing in relation to what I was talking about, we are so close to 100 subs now. And I think I've decided what I'm going to do for 100 subs. I'm going to make a limited piece of merch. But I ain't selling that shit. No, no. I'm going to give it away. I'm going to give away something with my logo on it. Because that is publicity, people. One of you listening right now could own a limited piece of Oliver Deschamps exclusive uh, merch. So, keep watching. Because once we hit a hundo... That's going to be a thing, and people are going to be excited for. I know it. What we need to make also is we need to do a sugarcane farm at some point. But those are, those are hella easy. That is literally just like this, but vertical. So that shouldn't be too bad. What we now need to go through and do, though, is... I mean, this has got water in the centre. Um, am I going to do that? No, I'm just going to do it like this for now. There we go, and then we're going to come around here, and just give this a nice covering. Oh god, there we go. I just didn't want the trolley to come back around before I was finished there. Uh, and then we take out our glass, and we do... I can make this, right? There we go, see? I knew I could. Believe in yourself, kids. Because I believe in you. There we go. And then the glass is all the way around the edge. Oh no. Almost. There we go. And I mean, yeah, technically, of course, this isn't as efficient as me harvesting with silk touch of uh, a melon because that's one melon versus maybe like three to four per and you need nine per thing, but this is automated, so it's a much easier process for me, at least. Which is the main thing, is it not? Ease of playing. Slowly and slowly I will play this game less and less <laughs> until I can sit down and food is forced into my mouth and my Minecraft character feels fulfilled on a regular basis. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Ugly as hell, but it works. And we can just see all the drops coming in. Lovely. Look at that. We'll, we'll do that. And then because the melon slices come in so much more um, quantity-wise. Done. And now this will just forever operate. Beautiful. And while that's been going on, we've gained probably like multiple stacks of iron. Beautiful. Uh, if you're wondering why I've put doors here, it's just in case if I want to AFK I can sit here and not be bothered uh, by anything. Uh, and look at this go! Oh my god, I'm so impressed. So now we need a sugarcane farm. Do you know what? Mm, yeah, it's a bit annoying. I was going to say maybe I put it here, but... I could, but it would have to be somewhere like back here, maybe, past this chest. Maybe, not a bad idea. But yeah, we've got we've got that going now. This feels good. You know what we could do with doing? Wait. I reckon this will be a, a pro move. Uh, we take one of these. And we're going to put it over the water source in the centre because it looks a little meek right now um, here 
and we just put this right here lovely and then we put this here and this here and then this here I'm hoping um, no bad boys spawn uh, not bad boys uh, these boys spawn here oh wait this can't be right can it no this needs a piece of redstone one second out nope I need a piece of redstone one individual piece of redstone and one second let's just block up there we go there we go lovely all of our drops come nicely down to the chest and we will probably need to put, expand that but I mean for now beauty absolute beauty and I think for now at least we can cross auto farming off because like uh, okay well I'll try and do something with these for now though this project is wrapped up so I can just do that Ooh, um, okay one second those there, those there, those there, done. And then we just need to check some of that there. So that's that project done. We definitely could do with tidying this up a little bit. It's quite uh, just a mess of plants. If we did, it would be very an ex, a very expensive way to do it, wouldn't it? I was going to say we could do a dispenser facing downwards that would land on like a block like this and just like break all the crops and we'd have hoppers around the whole edge, but that's quite expensive. Um, although, we could do it a little bit more efficiently so that it's like... Hmm... That could be done. Well, we'll look into it. But anyway, I think that's this episode wrapped up. Because, Christ, the last couple of episodes have been long. They've been gone a little past where they should be. So I need to go and tidy my inventory anyway. We'll go and put the Nautilus shell with the rest of them. Lovely. Um, and then, actually, how many do we need for a... Uh, a... Per... We, um, what's it called? What is it called? Conduit. How many do we need? Eight. Okay. So we are like three eighths there, almost half. That's not bad. Maybe next episode we we try and fix that, and we just hunt a lot. I saw someone say like a really easy way to do it is to do like control F3B. Narrator ah. narrates all. Um, control F3B. Oh god. I didn't want that. Narrator narrates chat. Narrator narrator. Okay, off. I've I've disabled it. Whew. Control F3B. Narrator. Narrates all. N narrator. Narrator. Okay, wait, that's off. loud. What is it then? Is it just F3B? Oh. <laughs> it is just F3B. The control adds narrator in, which is a very interesting feature that I don't know why anyone would use it. But now, look, we can see, like, hitboxes. So then we can, for example, see over there, like, if I, if I just show you how they did it. They went into a boat. Okay. And then they go over here and they go, okay, so that's that is a guy with a spear in fact I think so then they go over and they jump down he's not got a spear on him but and then you just you kill him and you go that wasn't exactly what I needed and then you see another one over there look and you just sort of go around so remember F3B don't use control uh, and you just go around basically like hunting throughout the evenings so maybe I maybe I do this. 
Oh, so that line's where he's facing. I see, okay. So we put ourselves right over him. And then kill him. And you just rinse and repeat until you get what you're looking for. I mean, I'm looking for Nautilus shells, which is such a, like, an effort to get. But that conduit would be really nice. Or a bloody trident would be really nice as well. And it's just a literally a rinse and repeat of, like, that. Like, you just, like, they're easy hitboxes to see. Because they're the only ones in the sea that are, like, long. Uh, and you just swim over. You park yourself probably a, right overhead. And you go down and you go, no Nautilus shell. Death to thee, then. There we go. And then back to your boat. Or, if more rude boys turn up, you kill him. There you go. Th this wouldn't be that hard, I guess. It's just like a bit of an annoyance, isn't it? More than anything, like... I could make a farm for them, but that... That's a lot of work. As far as I'm aware, like... More work than I'm willing to put in. So let's just go home. Uh, we'll kill these two on the way. Ow. I kind of hoped that maybe I'd get a Nautilus shell out of this, just to sort of proof of concept, you know? Although the more I'm killing them, the more are spawning. So maybe this is just like a, a real thing. Because I know there's the zombie swarm mechanics and stuff that maybe affects drowns. I don't actually know if it affects drowns. But yeah. So, I mean, it's an option for sure. For now, though, uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, I appreciate every single little bit of support that you guys show me. It's fantastic to see you in the comments. Uh, I look forward, I, I so look forward to doing a giveaway of just like random stuff when we hit 100. Um, I'm really pumped for it. So thank you again, everyone. And tell your friends and family, give me a like and subscribe and chuck a friendly hello in the comments. And I'll speak to you soon.